In a change from our regular broadcasting, I'm going to do a lesson on the Irish mandolin. This one right here was made in Ireland by a great craftsman called Dave Shapiro. My favorite bit is that it has a self-monitor hole in the top. So rather than all the sound being projected outward where you can't really hear it, some of it comes up towards me and I like that. I think there should be one of these in a banjo. I haven't got around to getting that made just yet. So I play the Irish mandolin kind of like I play the banjo. What I mean by that is that I pick out all of the notes and I'm not as reliant uh, or maybe able to do as many of those lyrical kind of hammer on playing. Uh, I hope that makes some kind of sense, but I play it kind of like the way I play the banjo. Big difference is I use a much heavier pick. So this is a one mil Dunlop it just as a little bit more backbone to the to the pick itself and that gives a rounder tone The softer picks that I use for banjo make the mandolin sound a little bit on the tinny side and this is I guess what might be Comically known as a paddle mandolin. That's what I've heard it called or a flat iron very much the Celtic style mandolin and for that reason it doesn't have the woody tone of a bluegrass instrument <laughs> It's there, but it's not quite the same. It's a flat top and a flat back. Maybe that's why they call it a flat iron. I think it's really pretty. Perhaps what I mean when I say I play this the same way that I play the banjo, the Irish banjo, is that when I do ornamentation and triplets on the mandolin, I do them with the pick. So I'm doing those three note triplets, the crisp triplets. <laughs> To get started in the world of teaching tunes on the mandolin, I'm going to play one of my favorite tunes. It's a jig called the Champion. There are a number of different variations of this tune, but for the purposes of this lesson, we're going to learn the two-part jig. So here's what we're aiming for, and this is the way that I play the instrument. Bright, brash, lots of ornamentation, and very jiggy because it's a jig. So here goes. This is what we're aiming for, and we'll break it down after this into the simpler versions. So let's start off nice and simple. For the jig rhythm, I recommend down, up, down, down, up, down picking. Down, up, down, up, down, up works absolutely fine. But if you want to punch out the jig rhythm, leaning in on those down beats, the down strokes that go down to the ground, then down, up, down, down, up, down will never let you wrong. Never let you go wrong. Never let you down. This is going to turn into a song. I ain't going to sing.
Let's put a little bit more jig rhythm into it and some simple ornamentation. Expanding a little bit more on the ornamentation, especially with the triplet run-ups and run-downs on the left hand. Right hand, of course, always does the same thing. And I've done plenty of videos on the banjo explaining where the triplets go in jigs. So you can check those out. There's one ornament that I love to do in this tune, and it is a corded triplet. <laughs> All right. So there's a good bit of pressing on and finger movement in the left hand with this. It starts with a D chord, F sharp on the D string, and a high D. And you make the triplet on the high D. Play the chord first. Okay. The second chord, the second triplet, is with it leaving the D on, on the A string, that fret five, and pressing in on the F natural, which is fret three, fret three, fret, fret, fret three, on the D string. And then the last one, the last chord is an A chord, which is E and C sharp, two and four. Now, to really catch the full chord and the top note in the uh, melody, you're going to use your pinky on the high A. So for this, you, you're playing a full spread chord. You're playing two, four, five, or E, C sharp, A. Like I said, there's a little bit of work in the left hand, but the outcome is awesome because it sounds like this. So you have that really cool descending line that goes under the melody. That might be my favorite thing about this tune. All of the notation transcriptions for this are available on my Patreon and Skahal Banjo. Brackets mandolin. Going to do more mandolin lessons if you want them. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more Irish tunes played on the mandolin. What I do is kind of unique because I do use a lot of right hand ornaments. So all of these triplets 
trebles that I would normally do on the banjo, I'd transfer them on the mandolin. It's the very same technique, but it gives a kind of a unique style of playing the mandolin, I think. I think. But then, I'm a banjo player, what would I know? Also gonna have a couple of backing tracks so that you can play along with the champion jig on your mandolin, on your banjo, because the notes are the same. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you do, hit like, hit subscribe, go over to uh, Patreon if you wanna get access to over 200 video lessons right now.